man this just fell on my desk literally a few minutes ago shout out to somebody i, I can't pronounce the name in the email but i got this this tiktok link to this young lady that's a flatbed driver and they stated bro you did a video on a young man getting terminated from tmc transportation because of his dreads and yes they do have a hair policy in place for drivers that's coming on with the company that you can't have your hair longer than your shoulders it's in the policy as a safety hazard safety issue i responded back to him and i asked him i said well do you work for tmc and they wanted to remain anonymous so i'm not going to say if they did or didn't but they did specify the fact that they do have a hair policy in place he did mention that he thinks the guy might have read it in the policy he must have signed off on it without fully understanding the policy that could be it he don't think it was discrimination or anything like that it was just he was i guess he was just caught off guard so we'll see if that case that he have against a tmc trucking pans out i will keep you guys posted as i get the information per se but we got some double standard y'all drivers we got some double standards <laughs> now i don't know about this young lady i i think she uh, probably owned the truck i guess i don't know if she's an owner operator or she works for a company per se shout out her name is ball head ass fine ball head ass fine trucker bay you can find her on tiktok shout out to this female flatbed driver now here's the here's the controversy here's a young lady that's doing flatbed in a dress. said that now when you see things about trucking it's not about learning no more it's not about trying to find out what to do how to do and what to do and where to do and in this particular case a lot of people in their comment session it says it's not even about safety a few of them agree with her of course a lot of simps is in there simping her bend over some more baby do the damn thing make it clap and all sorts of stuff and then you have her supporters of course hey do the damn thing keep it moving keep it pushing show them how it's done show them that bit fine can get it done in the dress hey i'm i'm with you i said years ago shout out to my guy trucker brown i said years ago that when it comes to female truck drivers it's not about trying to teach the basics of trucking anymore female truckers will get the views simply because they're female big booty nipples and a smile yeah it's a case of uh can't trust a big button smile excuse me <laughs> no <laughs> that's the aesthetic that they want to show to you that is the aesthetic that we men is going to receive we're not jumping on a female's channel simply because she's on there trying to teach something no we're jumping on the channel because we want to see her move we want to see her shape we want to see that that booty jiggle we want to see that clap we'll make it clap that's all 
Now, whether she could come on here and say, yo, I'm just trying to show, be inspired, be in, be an inspiration to female truckers everywhere. Another commenter would say to that is you, you being a female thought to be an inspiration for other females to be a thought as well. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I said it before that this, this is the only industry right here that a lot of people would come in and 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 treat this industry as it as it is today you just take that as you will i don't know how you take it me i don't do flip-flops I, I i don't do open toe shoes i i i have on some some dicky shorts or dicky pants i get out i do my job i go in be professional if i have to wear a i'm not a fan but if I have to wear a uniform, I will go in there and represent the company. Here's this young lady is representing the company in a in a in a sundress with all the goodies out. She don't even have on a bra, bro. And I, I can't even tell because of the camera being far away. But I'm sure the shoes ain't safety regulated either. But here's a female doing the damn thing, strapping, doing flatbed work, by the way with long hair a dress and open toe shoes on but here's the other young man that got terminated because of the length of his hair now one of her commenters commented and she came back with another video to respond to that comment now hold on this video of course showing her on top of the load in what looks like the leggings can't tell the shoes if any and of course she has on uh, a midriff that's proportion so i ask you drivers i ask you is there a double standard in trucking on one side this man gets terminated because of the length of his hair but he's doing the job and then we have this female in all glory doing the job and ain't nothing happened to her company didn't fire her or anything like that maybe she's maybe she's doing this off-site because i'm i would imagine could you do this on site if you was picking up a load i would imagine you would have to secure the load before you leave it anyway right but again i tell you guys this is what it comes down to when it comes to trucking content this is it somebody straps a gopro on top of their head and shows you how couple of trailer gets a million views versus a truck driver that's actually teaching you what you need to know to make sure that your truck is secured your truck is coupled and your truck is, is road ready for the road nobody don't want to see that but yet somebody want to see a female out there in in stretch pants over here talking about i can't get the landing gear up over over a thousand views on that but ain't no views on somebody that's actually standing there teaching you how to operate the landing gear if it's heavy you have to pull it out put it in low gear crank it crank it crank it and then when you get it cranked down enough you put it back in high gear and you're able to crank up the landing gear that video right there only get two or three views but the videos that get the most views in that situation is the young lady that's struggling with the with the leggings and the, and the the loose fitting top so that the breasts be jiggling
I don't know. That's just my thoughts. I want to ask you guys the same. What do you think is their double standard here in trucking? What do you think about the trucking content as of today? And what's your overall feelings on, on the uh, video today? Let me know. If you like what I do over here, make sure you hit the like button and engage in the comments. Make sure you share and get us out there, man. And until next time. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all ship. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.